how your wild doing? Uh, my wild are doing average <laughs> right now. Um, they're okay. They're back fine. To Earth, didn't they? Yeah. I'm I'm not concerned. I'm just I said this in uh, my Buttes breakdown um, of the Sabers game. I said it's kind of like like them losing to the Sabers. That was their third loss in a row. Uh, they got a point out of the Sabers, but that's offensive they should have gotten two and the Sabres should have gotten none um but I said I kind of feel like a parent when you've got a really smart kid they're a straight A student and they bring home like one B plus on a paper and you're like oh you're so much better than this like I, I get it you're not gonna get A's all the time like that's how I feel about the wild like you was lost it a, B, a few was games it a B plus I mean that game specifically was maybe a B minus maybe mm. a C plus um but C's de- get degrees you know what they say Fred um hey <laughs> it's the whole joke what do you call a, a med student that got C's for school a doctor what? oh see that's the wild the wild are doctors getting C's in med school <laughs> they're still um, doctors but they got C's <laughs> still a doctor <laughs> I think the wild is basically needed this it's kind of the whole like sea biscuit thing where like mm-hmm. if you're just in the lead the whole time you're going to mm-hmm. get passed at some point but they need to be shown you're not that great you can't just keep going to shootouts and things like mm-hmm. that and overtimes and just like man we're going to power through that's great to know you can do that but you've got to be able to to basically strive for something and go oh crap maybe yeah. we're not that team and we need to work harder because i mean I mean, I, I did a lot of like pre prep for this episode just because I knew Jesse wasn't going to be on here. I believe mm-hmm. it. So I was like, I have to somehow know a little bit about how <laughs> he's cramming for a test. I'm cramming <laughs> for a test. But in, in one of Russo's articles, like they've not been practicing regularly. Right. And, like right. Dean's been canceling some, some things because of travel and things like that. And there was like availability of ice when they were in LA at the, yep. what used to be the Staples Center. Yeah. Right. Um, <laughs> well, now with the postponed games, that really throws a wrench that in your too. I mean, it's hard to get into. It doesn't matter how good of a team you are. It is tough when you're in a rhythm and then all of a sudden, literally a wrench is thrown in. You're like, okay, this game's canceled. You don't get to practice tomorrow. Right. This player's on COVID protocol, so they're not practicing with right. you. Like, there's so many things that it, it really like makes me upset. And I know it's completely out of all of our control, right? But it makes me upset that like the Wild are finally having a good season and then all of this happens like right in the middle of it. It's like, how much is this really going to affect them? And to your point, how much can they use this to fuel some kind of bounce back? And Dean touched on this in the post-game interview against the Sabres, and I thought it was a really good point. He was like, doesn't every team go through this in a season? And everyone, no one said yeah. anything at first. And he's like, you know what I mean? Like where you lose a few games? And we were like, yeah, oh, right. yeah, that is true. You're not yep. going to win all of them. So, I mean, yeah. he kind of brought everyone back down to earth. Like, it's okay. Every team is going to go on a little bit of a skid. Every team is going to lose a game or two. They're going to lose to teams they shouldn't. They're going to beat teams they shouldn't. It all happens through the course of a season. And, you know, Jesse and I were on uh, NHL Network Radio this morning, and we talked about that and the expectation that fans have this year compared to previous years where I think in past years, fans would have been like, yeah, it's fine. We'll take a point against Buffalo. Good, good point. Add it to the, you know, add it to the uh, shootout loss column. Like, no fans are mad that they didn't beat Buffalo. Like they expected them to win. Exactly. Good. Like they expected them to win. They weren't happy with getting a point. They were upset with that. And I think that's a great attitude shift that we've seen in the fan base where Mm -hmm. we're not okay with mediocrity anymore. We're not okay with just a point against a bad team. We expect more success. Um, in situations like that.